Hello friends, I'm Sherry with Sherry's Plans and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the holiday planner that came in the fall seasonal surprise box. So stay tuned for that. So to introduce myself, I am Sherry with Sherry's Plans. I share my planner ideas, reviews, and inspirations here on YouTube and on Instagram. So be sure to give me a follow there as well. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys, I thought it'd be fun to show you the holiday planner that came in the fall seasonal surprise box. So I, I was kind of hesitant on filming this because, um, well, I think most of us have gotten the um, fall seasonal surprise box or at least have seen spoilers um, of this holiday planner in there. I... According to the card that came in the box, this holiday planner is exclusive to the box. And that, if that is the case, I, that is truly disappointing because the Erin Condren community has been asking for a petite size holiday planner for so long. And if it is an exclusive that we would never see again, like this, that's going to be so disappointing. What I am hoping and what happens occasionally is that an item shows as exclusive in the seasonal surprise box and then we see another version or different, something different to it and we see it again on sale on the website. So I'm hoping that's what the case is on this. It could be something as like a different cover. Um, I don't know if like they might do like a coiled A5 size because like the coiled A5 has been super popular. I don't know if they're going to do something like that. Um, or we could just see something with different covers. I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm really hoping we see something different. I have emailed my contacts at Aaron Condren asking if this is truly an exclusive item and it is a holiday weekend. I'm filming this on Labor Day. So I've, I, I, I haven't heard from them yet. If I do hear anything differently, I will update it in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out, okay? So let's go ahead and I, I, want, I feel like I wanna dive into this thing anyways, because if it is gonna come out again at some other point, I wanna be able to film it and show you guys it, okay? As soon as like it becomes available, if you wanna watch this video again, you know, that way you can see it. So I'm hoping it becomes available for sale. If not, um, I thought I'd just film a walkthrough of it anyways. So it has like, it's this beautiful like gray cover with this gold foil on the like um, leaves and the design is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So inside, I love like the color of these designs in here. It's like these, there's like different greens throughout this. It's really cute. So this is the Petite Planner Holiday Planner. So inside it shows how to use this planner and it kind of gives you like an overview of everything you're gonna see inside of this planner. So begin, we have a checking in page. Um, what I'm looking forward to the most this holiday season, priorities and goals, what's important, um, how can I stay fully present in the moment this season, traditions, and how we'll practice self-care this holiday season, very important. So this is undated, which is awesome. Um, so this is the first monthly spread here. And then it goes into this month's priorities, ways I can take care of myself this month, ways I can ask for help. So you have a month of to-dos. And then another um, untitled box down here, which is really great because if there's like some big activity or something you need to deep clean or something else that's going on that you wanna fill in this section, you can do that there. They have a page on tradition, so this month's family traditions and new traditions to try and create this month. And little check boxes down here too. I think this could be like a good bucket list page. That would be really fun. Um, I love that they talk about tradition so much because I think like that's one of the, my favorite things about the holiday season is the traditions that we have. Um, I know like with my family, we're kind of like scattered throughout, like we're in Arkansas and Colorado. And normally like right now our traditions are that we 
like update our wish list on Amazon and like do a lot of our gift shopping through there. Um, so, and then like on Christmas morning, we'll get together and do like a video chat and open up presents. And, you know, that's really fun. And it takes up like our, you know, whole morning. And that's usually what we do. One of our other traditions that we have, which has been really fun, we've been doing this for like, uh, like over 20 years. Um, but we draw names for each other's uh, stockings. And like I said, we've been doing this with my family and it's grown since like my boyfriend and I were together, um, my sister and her boyfriend. So like it's grown a lot, but we draw names for stockings and then we decide like who like that what's like who that's who's stuffing who's stocking and so we do like fun little stocking stuffers and then like we mail the stocking to wherever it's going right since like I said we're all over the place um so that's like our tradition and it's so much fun we look forward to it like drawing names and like all that stuff so that's that's one of our my favorite traditions that we have and like I said we've been doing it for like well over 20 years um so yeah, and that's like, like I said, one of the things that we look forward to. So like this one, I might put, you know, we're drawing names for stockings or something like that in, in our uh, monthly family traditions. You have a decor page, so you can do like your look and feel, existing decor to use, new decor to get, and then it breaks it up by section. So you have outdoor, table, different rooms, and four different rooms here. And then a holiday gathering meal plan. Drinks, appetizers, main dishes, side dishes, desserts, and then like a little guest list with requests, allergies, and contributions, shopping list, a prep and cooking schedule. I'm so excited about this. I think so many of us that like do a like the cooking for the holiday season, like it's got like a timetable right here. So you could put like what time you need to start putting stuff in the oven or start something. And I love that because I absolutely think that way when I'm doing you know, like cooking like a Thanksgiving dinner, especially. Or even if you're doing like hosting um, like a football game or something like that's what I'm thinking of. If, if I'm hosting like people over for a football game and there's different things that we need to cook or barbecue, I need to know, okay, well, the game's at this time and I need to work backwards from that. So like that's how I might use this page. So you got two holiday gathering meal pages there, meal plan pages. And then you get looking back. So funny memory, family tradition, something that made me smile surprising moment a connection I treasure this month and what I'm grateful for this month and then it starts in with like another holiday or another monthly spread and then it goes through like the same thing so like the color schemes changed a little bit here so you get three months of undated in here and what I love about it, it being undated for three months is you can choose when you want to start it so what I would probably do is start it in October because spooky season and you can plan your holiday then. So I would probably start this in October for me and then go November, December. But some people might do more traveling or seeing family still into January or maybe like the New Year's traditions or like something they want to um, plan for in their book. So that might be something like where you want to start November, December, and January. Something like that. So I love that it's undated and it gives us that option. Personally, I would start in October so I can do like my spooky season planning and like maybe some, uh, like like I said, football. If we're hosting, a, you know, our neighbors over or something, you know, do a small gathering for like football meal planning. Like that's what I might do and how I might use these pages. So you get... Like I said, three months of that. This is the last looking back. And then it goes into a budget tracker. So you can, it's tracking. It's, it's like allowing you here to track for like different holidays. So, oh my gosh. Like we, like I said, we love Halloween and spooky season and stuff like that. But boy, can my boyfriend spend some money on some tacky Halloween decorations, guys. Like he loves raiding like our spirit store and I swear he spent like $30 on like three pairs of socks one time, but he loves it. But I can keep track of what we're spending on Halloween in our budget tracker here by this holiday. I think I love that for this because I tell you, he's already trying to take me to the store, guys. Like he is ready to spend some money at the spirit store. 
but you got different holidays here so you can do like two pages maybe if like your christmas is a little bit more expensive you do two pages on budget tracking here and then a holiday card planner so check this out amount of cards needed mail by your budget and your final card cost it's giving you some different sections here for card names and the site or the brand and the cost so you can like maybe shop like a few different websites and like Shutterfly, I know is one, Mint.com, uh, Vistaprint. Those are um, even like Walgreens, like making cards on like Walgreens. We've done that plenty of times too. But maybe you're, you put like those different sites here or like, you know, the different cards that you're looking at, the different sites and then the cost on how many cards you're going to buy. So you can like evaluate it all in one spot. You have your final card choice. And then it's got sections here for a photo shoot, date, photographer, shoot location. Super cute. Shoot prep and shoot notes. Like, that's a really cute idea for those holiday photos. Uh, what I love on this side, too, so you have a holiday card list. And you actually got, like, oh, five. You actually got, like, five pages of holiday card list. And it's got name and address, sent and received. Really cute. I love this. I, however would never rewrite everybody's address on here that I already have in my address book. I would never rewrite any list of this. But I think it's enough having a name and then sent and received. To me, having a list for like that would be perfect. So, and then you could do it too. Like if you have like family and then like friends and then work or something like that, like school, you know, school parents or something that you want to like send cards that way. Or like if your kids want to send cards to their friends, something like that. But you could separate those pages that way if you want to. Now they have the holiday gift list. So you've got family and friends and then some other little boxes here. So I'm thinking this is like for the family list out everybody's name that you're going to buy gifts for. And then same thing with the friends. And then you, I love these little other groups here because these could be like, you know, um, your church, your work, um, maybe like uh, sports, you know, like your, you know, base, your kid's baseball team or like, um, you know, Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts or something like those parents and, the, and kids in those groups that there are the friends, something like that. I think like you could separate it out into different groups there. Like maybe we do our neighbors or something like that. And then you have the holiday gift planner. So again, it separates it for each person, gives you a spot for four, some little boxes here. So you have like the gift name and then how much you spent. And then you can keep like a total spent right there. And then so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six pages of the holiday gift planner there. And then you get this fun group gift tracker. So group gift recipients. So group gift ideas, wrapping ideas. Um, I think like, I'm trying to think like maybe how you would use this. If I'm buying for a group, like uh, if I was doing something for like my coworkers, um, I would like how many people are going to be in that group and then like gift ideas for that group or something like that. Um, I know what we did last year was like, we did like a group gift for our neighbors so, like, we made them, like, a fun, like, family night, you know, put, like, movies and, like, uh, like, a pizza gift card and some popcorn and candies, like, all in a bucket. So, if I was doing maybe, like, a group gift like that or maybe something similar. So, I'm thinking, like, that's kind of maybe how you use this. So, you ideal cost per gift, max cost per gift, ideal budget, budget maximum. This would be fun, too, uh, for, like... If you got like a group of like uh, friends that you like want to do um, or like thinking like maybe like, you know, planner friends specifically where if you want to make like a bunch of your friends like a certain gift or something like that, you could do that here and then like figure out the ideal cost of the gift. And so you got like a shopping list section, another blank box here, order, deliver, mail, and then send gift by. So like your deadline to get that gift out there. So you got another group gift tracker and then you got a wish list and then a gift price tracker gifts to order gifts to mail 
And like I said, I love this because like with my family, we're all over the place. So like making sure we have like when we need to order that gift because some places take longer to ship or whatever it is. So making sure we have a deadline on there and when we sent it. Gifts to wrap. Gifts to deliver. And then a holiday baking tracker. So this is really cute too. You have um, the holiday treats. Who's it for? The quantity needed by a note. And then you get to check when they're done. What I love is I could go through and write down the recipes that I want to cook. Like ahead of time. Like stuff I want to bake, cookies and treats like that. Write it down here and then like mark them off when I get them done. Or if it's stuff like... I want to give these to my neighbors or I want to give these to my coworkers. I can figure out the quantity or I can go through and look and be like, this recipe makes five dozen cookies. I can give this to my coworkers and my neighbors and, you know, my your church or whatever it is. But you could separate it out that way, too. So you got two pages of the holiday baking tracker. And then that is the end of the book it ends with like a dot grid page, a couple dot grid pages there. And then it says, enjoy and savor every moment. Now this has a pocket in the back, which would be so awesome if it came with some stickers, but this one didn't. But that is the whole book there. So like I said, guys, I am so excited. This is perfect. Erin Condren knocked it out of the park. I would just be so disappointed if this was really an exclusive, then we weren't gonna see any other version of this available. Like, they're going to miss it if they do that. Um, like I said, maybe we'll see something in some different colors or maybe like a slightly different option. But I really I really hope we do. I'm waiting to hear if there's some more information about, the, about this being available for sale on the website. If I hear anything and have any updates, I'll put it in the description of this video. So be sure to come back and check out that description um this week or maybe in the next few weeks to see if there's any more information I can share with you there okay so um that is all I have for this the other thing I was gonna say is I'll probably use is I'll probably use this clear um glitter sleeve for this holiday planner if I like how it looks and everything because this is gonna like help protect those pages or like your covers um uh, from getting like bent up or anything like that and especially like I don't use the rest of the petite system. I just use, um, like I'll probably just use this holiday planner here. So if I'm carrying this around or it's going in my kitchen or something like that with me or going shopping, if I put this clear sleeve on here, it's gonna help protect these corners and the edges of the pages here a little bit as well. This we got in a seasonal surprise box, I believe, but it is available for sale on the website. So if you do want to get one for your holiday planner there i think they're still available on the website but um i'll link it if i can so that is the only thing like i think i'll do with this so that is the holiday planner um i'm really excited like i said i'll be setting mine up to use in october november and december this year and yeah i'm gonna leave you guys with that let me know in the since i shared like some of my family traditions i would love to hear what yours are if you share it in the comments of this video, I would love to see what those are. I am sharing new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So be sure to like this video and subscribe so you will see my next videos, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.